here with the Pugilist Place. We're here with Alex Martinez. How you doing, Alex? I'm pretty good. Thank you for having me here. So I'm excited to ask you. You're coming off of your fight at Pico Rivera last last weekend, right? Yep, yes, last Saturday. Yes. Tell us all about it. Uh, it was really good. You know, I came out victorious. You know, I want to say thank you to all my family and friends that came out to support. Much love to everybody. You know, I will make sure my opponent came out good, safe and clean. You know, because it's a dirty sport though too. You know, not everyone can do it. Uh, I got the second round knockout victory. Um, coming for the next fight, so hopefully within the new year. If not, hopefully sooner, but we'll see what happens from here. So all wins are not created equal. What's it like to get a knockout victory as compared to, you know, one where you've gone the distance? Um, wow, well, yeah, it's a good one right there. Uh, I mean, a knockout, not, if a knockout comes, a knockout comes. I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, you don't want to always expect that to come. If, it, if you go all the distance, it goes the distance. But uh, a knockout, like I said, yeah. If it comes, it comes, you know? Right. I mean, I, you don't want to expect it, but, I mean, it just happened for me, you know? Like, it was just there, the time was, timing was there, so, like, the knockout was just, it just had to come already. And kind of kind of an odd question, but the vast majority of boxing fans and people <laughs> will never knock somebody out. What does it feel like to knock somebody out? Man. Honestly, it does, if, it does feel good. It honestly really does. You know, with all the training that you go through and that that you work for, uh, the knockout. It just it, it feels. I don't know how to say it. It's it does feel good though. It really does. Like knowing that you landed those punches really strong and hard, and for that opponent to like to take them, it's like man, what the heck. But like I said, my respect to my opponent that I, mean, I took the punches. You know, and the knockout. Um, but I I enjoyed my win, my vict my victory. So. Like I said, we'll move on to the next one. We'll just go from there. Right. It looked like a pretty good atmosphere. You had Ray J out No, there. it was. It was honestly, it was really good. I didn't expect it, but yeah, yeah. Ray J was there. Um, Mayweather Sr. was there. Who else was there? Sugar was, Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard I'm glad I got a picture with that guy, wow. too. I have it on my phone. But it was a good event. You know, a really good event. I want to say thank you to everybody that came out to support. You know, all these fighters that were out there, too. Uh, I got my brother next, too. Hopefully, get him, get him a fight within the new year. Uh, I can't wait for the next one though, for sure, because I want to get back in that ring. I'm hungry and ready. So, what, what took you into a boxing gym for the first time? Um, well, I started at about the age of six, six years old. Wasn't like fully dedicated to it. I had another sport I was playing too. I had baseball. That was in my that was my my love and passion for the sports. High school, all the way to college ball. Um, once I once I once they told me I was too short to go professional in baseball, I fell back to the sport that I loved doing, which was boxing. And I wanted to continue from where I started to where I'm at right now, and I'm blessed where I'm at with my family and friends right now. Do you have a professional box? Uh, excuse me, a professional baseball team you follow? Of course, Dodgers. I mean, I'm upset right now. I mean, well, how it happened? You know, this has already happened so many times. I'm like, are you serious right I know, now? It's sensitive stuff. It is, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a love the Dodgers fans. You know, I mean, hopefully they do it again next year, and right. we'll come, we'll bounce back. Hopefully they get a. I'm not saying bad, but maybe new coaches, maybe some new players and new pitchers. I know things are gonna change. They're gonna change some, some players. Hopefully, I mean, I love all the players from the Dodgers too. But I hate to see some leave, but I know they're gonna make some changes in there. So we'll see what happens. You can't. I can't say anything. How would you describe your fighting style? Um, you know what? To be honest, I mean, whatever. I, I look at my opponent and see how he fights. Um, but I mean, I'm a different fighter too. I can I can brawl, I can fight, I can distance in. Um, it all depends on what's happening in the game plan too. Uh, like for example, this fighter I fought, he was taller than me. He had a longer reach than me, so me I couldn't I wasn't able to box him. Me I would have to work in, work into his body. So I'm, as a, I'm a fight too, you can see I had really no shot me reaching into him. So that's for me. I had to hurt, hurt the body for me to get the body, work my my techniques from side to side, and that's when the knockout came. Are there any f uh, fighters, either past or present, that you try to fashion yourself after or model your style after? Um, oh, well, like my favorite, my favorite fighter always, rest in peace, Arturo Gotti, Thunder Gotti. So that's where I get my my thunder. That's where I get my name from, Thunder. You know, from the bravery, the heart in the in the ring. You know, like I know he he gave it all out too. He got though too. I mean, with his blood and tears and everything too. I gotta give a good a good fight all the time he fought. So that's who I look up to and I respect to that step into that ring. So. That's who I get my thunder from. Absolutely. So what's next for you? Um, for right now, we'll hopefully, like I said, we, we're going to look in between December. Uh, hopefully, before the new year that comes, you know, I want to get this last fight in. So we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe my brother will fight again that's on the same card. So That'd we'll see great. what happens. I, I like it too, but he doesn't like it. So this is actually the first time he got to see me fight. And then hopefully, 
we'll go from either me or him. We'll see what happens. There has to be crazy nerves to watch your brother in the ring. I know. Well, I, I always get to watch him fight, you know, but he never got to watch me fight, so I was happy he got to see me this fight and get my victory, my knockout. So it was good. It was a good turnout. Well, Alex, congratulations on the big win. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the time. We look forward to watching. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. We'll stay tuned, everybody. You know, much love to everyone that shows support to me, and my family. Uh, much love to all you guys. I just want to say thank you guys, and we'll see you guys soon. And where can five fans follow you on? Uh, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at a martinez underscore underscore seven. We also have our Martinez boxing team page, which lets where we keep everyone updated on the info. Uh, everyone that shows that love and support through all of us. So you guys don't want to miss out. So much love. You guys take care. Thank you, Alex.